Jessica. And I'm Marley. And we are Marley Marley Made Me Do Do It. it. Hey y'all, this is your girl Jessica with Miley Made Me Do It and I am here with a new video for you guys. So we have a new pattern, a new little, little Lizard King pattern. Um, this is the new Parker pattern. It's super cute. It has um, a, a lot of different options. Let me go through them with you real quick. And um, I'm just going to tell you what, I'm using Jersey Knit. I don't even know if that even matters, but it's a knit pattern, okay? A knit um you, you need to sew with knit. It's a knit pattern, I guess. Yeah, that's what I was supposed to say. But, um, yeah, let me just tell you what I am doing today. Um, they have so many different options. They have the um, ruffle version, three-tier ruffle version. They have a simple version. They have long sleeve version, just the flutter, like not the flutter, but the ruffle sleeve version, short. Um, you can also, you know, get really um, crafty, not really crafty, but um, doing the ruffles with the long sleeve. That's another cute option. Um, and it has, yeah, and, and yeah, yeah, that's like, those are the different versions for it. Um, I'm excited about it because, you know, your girl love to sew with knit. And when I sew with knit, you know, um, I like to get the heat and bun soft and stretch. Let me go get it real quick. Yeah, so I like to have the heat and bun soft and stretch. Okay, like this, I'm telling you, the best freaking stuff ever. I love it. Make sure you get your pins. And we're going to get started. Well, nope, let me tell you what I got. Okay, because I'm going to do the, the three tier version. So let me tell you what I got. Here, I have the bottom tier, middle tier, and it's two. You're going to need two of them, okay? Two cut on the fold. Middle tier and the top tier. Also cut on the fold. I have my ruffles, which was cut on the fold. I got two of them. My sleeves, long sleeve, because it's going to start getting cold. So I want to start, you know, working on some, you know, cold weather outfits now. Um, so the I have two of the long sleeve. This is my back bodice, my front bodice here, and here is my neck band. Okay, so let's get started. Hey, hey, let's get started. All right, let's do this. Okay, so let's get started constructing our bodice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my back bodice piece, put it right side up, and my front bodice piece, and we're going to put them on top of each other just like this. So go ahead and pin on both sides at the shoulder seams using a... 3 8 inch seam allowance and a stretch stitch. The stretch stitch can be um, a zigzag stitch or you can just take it straight to your serger and just serge the top. That's what I'm going to do, okay? So do that for both sides. All right, so I have that pin. Okay, so because I am doing the um, ruffle sleeve, the long sleeve with ruffles version, I'm just going to take this to my machine and I'm just going to um, sew at the top here and I will show you what that looks like when I get back. Okay, and while I'm here, and since I'm gonna still be at the sewing machine, what I'm gonna do is take my neck band and I am going to take that right sides together and pin and sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance to attach. So let's do all that at our machine and then we'll meet back up here. Okay, so I have my shoulder seams um, sewn together and I've also went ahead and I hem, not hem, but sewn my neck band together too. So while we have these both here, let's just go ahead and quarter off our neck band, okay? To start that out first. So right now, um, this is my um, is where I've sewn. Take your pin here, and you're just gonna mark because that's the half one. So this is the back, and that's the front. Also, take those markings and match that seam, and hit the sides there. All right. So that's quartered off. I'm gonna put that to the side for a second. 
Now let's bring in our, our top. All right, so right now take your, and fold it in half. Okay, we're gonna fold it in half, just match the, the side, match it up as good as I can. Take my pen and I'm gonna hit here, the center, and the center back. Okay, now I'm gonna take the center front and the center back and I'm going to match those two together. And then I am going to just flatten that out just like that. And that will be where my neckband needs to hit. And do this other side. Just like that. And now our neckband is quartered off. Okay. So bring, I mean, our neckline is corded off. Now, now just bring in your neckband and I'm going to fold it in half. All right, fold my neckband in half here. And I'm going to turn my bodice right side out. I probably should have ironed it, but I didn't. Okay, so this is my back here. All right, so I'm gonna turn it right side out like this. This is my back, and I'm going to match with right sides together. Well, yeah, right sides together, and also the raw ends touching here. Okay. So now with the, this is my back here, and I'm going to match it with the back of my neck, my neck, um, my neckline, that marking, I'm gonna pin. And then, got my other marking right there. Find that marking and match and pin. Okay. Now let's find the center front. Got the marking. Match that up. We're just gonna do this. Hold on, boom. Other marking here. Find it and boom, just like that. Okay, so now you're just gonna slightly stretch your neck band, just slightly, not too much. Just make it where it, you know it just fits perfectly. Okay, and pin all the way around. All right, so I have that pin. Now I'm going to take this to my machine and I'm going to sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance using a stretch stitch, okay? Either a zigzag or you can just um, take it, take, um, use your serger, okay? So I'll show you what that looks like when I get back. Okay, so our neck band is attached um, and is, this is optional, but if you want to go ahead and do a top stitch along that neck band, you can. All right, so now let's start on our ruffle sleeves, okay? Okay, so I have my bodice almost, well, my neck band on already. So now let's, because I want to do the simple sleeve, well, because I want to do the ruffle long sleeve with um, the added ruffles, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring in, I'm going to put this to the side real quick so I can just show you what I'm bringing in. I'm bringing in my long sleeve and I have already taken my ruffles to my sewing machine to um, ruffle. Okay, so I've already ruffled my ruffle. Yeah, I think that's why you say it. Okay, so all right, this is going to be cute already. I already love it. All right, so now we just bring back in your bodice. And we're going to work on, you know, the different, you know, each side, okay, of the bodice. This right here? Okay, so we're going to work on each side of our bodice here, all right? Now, this is going to be super cute, super simple, and you're going to freaking love it. I already know it because, you know, I told y'all, I mess up so you guys don't have to. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do first, we are going to take our ruffle piece, okay? 
and we're going to put it right sides together all right just like this okay and it looked like mine was just perfect oh ruffle that thing baby oh, good all right so right sides together and then boom that's what we're doing okay we're going to pin and then we're going to baste our ruffles on okay so let's do that we're going to do that for both sides now Okay, so I have my ruffles on, well, pinned on, so I'm going to take this to my machine and I am going to baste these ruffles on, okay? So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have the have the sleeves based on, um, and this is, look y'all, this is looking super cute already without the sleeves, but I'm going to stay on track, I'm going to stay on track <laughs> and put, and do what I said I was going to do, but because it is going to get cold and this is going to be perfect. Okay. So, all right. I'm just going to turn this baby around just like this. Bring in your sleeves. So, before I decide to bring in my sleeves, it's already, both of my sleeves is already on the fold. I'm going to take my pen here and I'm just going to mark here at the center. Okay. Mark at the center. So, then I know where to put it. Okay. So, open your sleeves. And what I'm going to do is well, I'm gonna match my little mark here with my, with my shoulder seam here. And then I'm going to start that first. Ouch. Just stuck myself, y'all. Okay. Now, get my side here. I'm going to match that. And this side. Match that baby up. And then I'm just gonna pin, pin my my sleeves along this um the sleeve sides. I'm gonna do that for both sides of them, okay? So let's do that. Alright, so I'm gonna sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance and I will show you what that looks like when I get back. Okay, so I have already taken my sleeves to my cover stitch what i did i used my heating bun and i ironed it on i used it i i read the, i did the instructions whatever the, the okay <laughs> so i um uh, i used the instructions that the heating bun comes with and i just went ahead and took it to my um cover stitch and i cover stitched it so i've already hemmed the bottom of both of my sleeve long sleeve pieces okay so now let's go to our next step we're gonna put this baby together okay so with right sides together here i am going to take this and i'm going to at the curve end here, I'm gonna start with one side so then you can just really, really see. So this curve end here, that's under, underneath the arm here, we're gonna pin on both sides, all right? And make sure we pin here where our seams are. And this is the most important part. I didn't say this earlier, but um, where these ruffles here go, you, you, you have the option to just sew it down, you know, tack it down here but I didn't, so you know me, I'm a wild child. I like to just do it. So I'm just gonna flatten both of them, put them both together, and then just sandwich them in with my long sleeves, okay? All the way to the tippy top of it. All right. And pin. We're gonna be using, do the same step for our other side. Um, we're gonna be using a 3 8 inch seam allowance to attach. Here. Make sure my hem part of my the hem part here. Make sure that right there is even, you know, tacked on together. All right. All right. Just do the same step for the other side. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this to our machine. So a three eighth inch seam allowance to attach. Um, both our sides here, um, both of our sleeves and the arm here. And 
with using a straight stitch and I will show you what it looks like when I get back. All right, so I have my bodice done um, and I don't know, okay, so if you were wondering what I was gonna do with those little threads that were at the end of my, of, I had just, I, I thought I was recording, Chad, but I didn't. <laughs> but if you wanna know what I did with those ends, all I did was with the, the serger ends that came out after I put them, you know, right sides together and so I used my little tapery little needle here. It has a big, big hole in the middle of it. And I just thread it through and then thread my, my, uh, thread the thread back into the seam here. If you want to see see how I did that, you can watch my video the um, when I did the Galena pattern. Um, so you can watch that and like you're probably going to just buy all of these up because this is freaking amazing. All right, so what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna put this to the side and we're gonna bring in our skirt pieces because now we gotta construct our skirt. So we're gonna bring in our top skirt. And if y'all know, I'm, I just don't do things, you know, I don't, I don't like to make those tubes and, and just having to try to get it and fit it and gather it together. I don't like all that. So I just really want to work on one skirt piece at a time. So this is my top tier. This is my middle and my bottom tier. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to do anything with my top tier just yet. Okay. Nothing yet. So I'm going to take my middle tier and my bottom tier and I'm going to take these to my machine and I'm just going to do a gathering stitch okay along the top here on both of them and then I will show you what that looks like I'm just gonna pin everything separately um pin well do my skirt separately and then when I get them finished then I sew them down the side as a whole so I wouldn't have to deal with trying to match up the tubes and all that stuff and I got time for that so I'll show y'all what that looks like in just a moment okay so I start over because I thought I had it so this is my first tier I've already gathered my second tier second and my middle and bottom tier okay I've already gathered them now we're just attaching okay so like I said we're doing one thing at a time so I am going to just make my ruffles the same width and try to get them as even as I can I mean it may not be that perfect but hey it is what it is All right, so I got the first tier done. So what I'll do, I'll take this to my machine and I will um, use a stretch stitch of the 3 8 inch seam allowance. Hey y'all, okay, so my camera battery went out. Like, yeah, that was wet. But as you can see here, I went ahead and I um, gathered my middle tier and my bottom tier to, um, to the width of my you know of width of each other okay so this is one half of my skirt and I said it's the front part of my skirt and then I'm going to take bring in the top part of my skirt my front and my back pieces of my skirt okay and as you can see I have not gathered the top here and I am just going to take this and I am going to pin here along the sides let me go get my pin Okay, so I'm going to pin on each side of my skirt. Ouch. And I'm going to sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance. I'm also going to go ahead and hem the bottom of my skirt off camera using my heat and bond tape. All right, so I'm gonna take this to my machine. So both my sides seam together using a stretch stitch or you just insert. I'm also off camera, I am going to hem the bottom of my skirt with my hem tape. And I will also gather the top of my skirt off camera. So I will show you what that looks like when I get back. Okay, so I have brought my bodice back out. I've already 
hemmed and gathered the top of my skirt. But I brought my bodice out because, um, so if you guys are wanting to use, um, like the, the clear elastic for your bodice, and you don't have it at the moment, but you do have a local Walmart, go ahead, go ahead and like use this hem tape, okay? I use this hem tape for anything dealing with knit, like anything, do you hear me? Like this is my go-to, all right? So get you some of this hem tape, and what I did, I read the instructions and I put the hem tape on the wrong side, like the uh, the raw edge, the wrong side of my fabric, okay? Because we want to do have this for stability, okay? Cool. So I, I put that on first, all right? Read the instructions on the back, it'll tell you how to do it. Put that on, boom, just like that, all right? Don't worry about it gunking up your needle, won't do that, promise. All right, so bring in your skirt, all right? So I got my skirt here, let me pull on that real quick so you can see. Okay, so bring in your skirt piece here. You probably can't see everything, but you know it's a skirt. And we're going to make this. I already got it kind of gathered enough right now. But I'm going to make it the width of my of my bodice. Alright, so I got it about the same width. Okay, so now take your bodice, right sides together. going to open my skirt up, stick my bodice in. Okay, we're going to match the raw ends. I'm going to match my side seams here. The side seam of my skirt to the side seam of my um, of my bodice. All right, so we're gonna match the side seams. Boom. Mm -hmm. All right here. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is. I am going to all right, put it in there just like that. So now I got it the same width. Now I'm just going to, you know, get my gathers all decent looking. Okay. So just do that. And then we're going to pin after that. Okay, so I have my skirt piece gathered. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this to my machine and I'm going to sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance to attach, okay? And then I will serge off my raw ends and I'll show you what it looks like when I get back. Okay, y'all, and we are done. Do you hear me? Like, this is super cute. Like, and look at the bodice part of it. Hadn't even been stretched, and after I um, attached it, I went to the sole, I mean, the iron, and just pressed it up, and it's just really, really nice. I think for the next one that I do, I would probably put the heat and bun on, you know, those two. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Don't really matter, but, I mean, if you just, like, picky and want like a really nice perfect finish and that type of stuff then yeah just just try to put the heat and bun on the back of each um each tier but this is this is the new little lizard king um parker pattern i did the three tier long sleeve with ruffle version i hope you like this tutorial this is your girl Jessica with Miley Made Me Do It, and I would love for you to subscribe to sub, sub, subscribe to subscribe to my channel. Uh, click the notification bell. Um, watch it. You know, watch the whole thing. Let's get these watch hours up, baby. But um, yes, this is super cute. Love it. Um, I have to take pictures of Miley in it so then you guys can see see it. I think this is gonna be so cute with the with the um rider boots like i see it this is gonna be perfect so yes i love you guys thank you so much for watching and sewing with me y'all have a great day see ya